showing that the blood still works.
still a tough guy. Yeah. It didn't take a guy. Matter of fact, I had given the end of that which I thought it would take a guy. But I'm just glad that God was still here right now.
thanks, Sister Willis. Uh, the Gamma Theta Sigma chapter of Sigma Gator Row Sorority Incorporated. Amen. Amen. Let's give it a little more of a call. Yes, ma'am. I, I wanted to thank the members as well. I just don't want to call any names this morning. Amen. But you know who you are. Thank you for your support on yesterday. Amen. Amen. We don't want to call any names to make anybody say well. They are always there with We're not doing it. Thank you for those who came out. Amen. Your, your help was, was greatly appreciated on yesterday. Uh, all that we did, uh, we had some folk uh, uh, come by and stop by and see us, and so we were thankful for that. Uh, look, we are still just thanking and praising God for all of the amazing work that he has allowed us to do and the beautification of our church. But we also need each and every one of us to take ownership of our church. Amen. If you see something, say something. It, it, pick it up. Throw it away. It doesn't hurt for us to help. Yes, we do have cleaners. They clean our church. But this is our church. Amen? Amen. 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 And just like at your homes, if you see trash, you pick it up, right? Amen. Amen. So let's stop stepping over things. Not saying that we do that. But let's stop throwing things away. Let's help out around our church. We don't want it to end up in the shape that it was because we don't do our part on the front end. Amen? Amen. If you're not feeling well, we ask that you take the necessary precautions and stay at home. We have some vulnerable um, people among us who have compromised immune systems, and we should not sacrifice their health because we will not stay home because we think, oh, I just got the sniffles. Amen. Amen. One more announcement, and I'll be done. Oh, no, I won't. On October the 12th at 12 noon, we will have our members meeting here at the church October the 12th at 12 noon. We will have uh, our members meeting here at the church. Uh, announcement, the minister's wives and minister's widows of Chattanooga, the relationship conference and women's conference based on Matthew 22, 37 through 39. Join us for, morning, for a morning of praise and worship as we go deeper in our relationships with ourselves, with others, and with um, the God who created us. Featured speakers are Lady um, Battle and Lady Ellis, and all are welcome Saturday, October the 19th from 9 to 2 p.m. at New Hope Missionary Baptist Church, 3777 Wilcox Boulevard. Amen? Amen. 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 On next Sunday, we celebrate our annual quad day. Let's give the Lord a hand the prayer. Uh-oh, I'm sitting down look. It's Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon. Amen. Amen. The whole day is annual quad day. Amen. 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 All day. And so please. Let us support our choir all day. Amen. 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 Our choir sings from the depths of their heart every Sunday morning. They show up on afternoon programs every time. And every time they sing, they sing as if they are singing unto the Lord to minister to our spirits. The one thing we can do, we might not all be able to sing, but we can all come out and support. Amen? Amen. So all highways and byways lead to New Emmanuel next Sunday morning and next Sunday afternoon. We have a great lineup of churches who are coming to help and celebrate our annual Christ Day. Amen? Amen. Amen. If our hearts and minds are clear, it's 4 o'clock, uh, afternoon program starting at 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock next Sunday. Amen? Amen. Amen. Y'all a little quiet over this morning. Amen. 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 And this time, this time, I will worship through giving. As we look to the Lord in prayer, let us bow our heads. God.
God, we come now to tell you thank you. Thank you for this offering that we are about to receive. Lord, we tell you thank you for our gifts. We tell you thank you for a place to give our gifts. And then we ask a very special blessing on all those that have a desire to give what happened. Lord, our prayers is that you would bless them to be able to give over the next Lord's day. But we know that little becomes much in your sight. When you press it down, shake it together. You make it run open. Lord, we ask that you would have thine own way. Have thine own way. This is our prayer in Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen. At this time, I will ask us to will assist us in our building.
part of this and when I need a new song. Let me teach me how to let your praise bring forth. That just does something for me every time I hear that. Because that is the reality of our lives. If God doesn't order our steps, we may step in some bad places. Oh, I thought I was going to have a witness in here. Oh, the only reason why we don't go is because God has ordered our steps to keep because we don't want to go. Psalms 34, beginning at verse 1. Let's see that follow when you found it. Say amen. amen. Psalms 34 reads, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mind. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. Just for a few moments, I want to use for a thought from the first verse. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mind. Just for a few moments with the aid of the Holy Spirit, I'd like to do this for a God. It's personal. It's personal. This morning, my brothers and sisters, I found out that there are just some things that you ought to keep to yourself. We live in a day at a time where everybody is sharing everything. And then they wonder how folk know they business. Because they, just like a bad refrigerator, they can't hold up. I want to tell you this morning, that was an hour when your business was your business. But now we live in a time where whatever your sex sexual preferences are, they ain't your business. It's everybody else's business. I thought I was going to have a witness in here. That, 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 that was a time when, when your political views were your business. Matter of fact, young people, we were, we were taught that you didn't talk about religion or politics outside the house. But now we, we, we live in a country that is politically divided and it's all because everybody wants to share their own views. And I've learned that's what is right for me might not be right for you. 
Oh, somebody pray with me in the other part. That, that was some times that, 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 that used to be personal. Folk didn't talk about their income. Especially when you were on a job because of the fear that you were making less or more than somebody next to you and somebody would get paid. But now you ain't got to tell somebody how much money you make. You can tell it by the clothes they wear, by the shoes they put on their feet, by the cars they pull up in. We are now putting on display what we are worth without saying how much we make. And then do the same. It is. It used to be personal. And I can go on and on about things that are personal, but, but I believe you get my drift. That, that there are some things that are just better left unsaid and keep it to yourself. There are some things you want to take to the grave with you. Once you have given them to God, you ought not revisit some things that, that cause you pain that, and pull the scab of sores that are healed in your life. It's worse for y'all. And David writes this 34th Psalm to teach us how to praise God when we've been delivered. And you know, sometimes when, when God delivers us, we forget to go back and tell God thank you. We, we, we act as if God was supposed to heal us because we went to God in prayer. But I stop by to tell you, God doesn't owe us anything. We owe all that we are to God and for us to have the audacity not to want to serve a God who has delivered us from all of our troubles. It behooves my mind that we put things in the place of God. And that's the reason why I didn't come in here this morning to pump your pride. Because it's a personal thing. And David shows us that when you have been delivered, you must declare that God is worthy of all your praise. And I don't know who I'm talking to in here this morning, but you thought you were going to lose your mind. God delivered you. You ought to be able to tell God, thank you. David writes this. 34 Psalms on the occasion of his deliverance from his own son, Abimelech. Abimelech wants to kill David because he wants to take David's place on the throne. And God does something unusual. God allows David to act crazy for him. And in being crazy for God, God delivered David. And I don't know who I'm talking to in here this morning, but there are times that you have to act crazy for God. You have to go when you don't want to go. That's being crazy. You have to do what nobody else wants to do. That's being crazy, y'all. You even hear folks say, you crazy, child. I wouldn't do that. The Lord gives everybody some time off. But when you understand that it was God who delivered you, you are able to say, I will bless the Lord. Not sometimes. Not when I feel like it. But at all. understood that Abimelech sent him away 
And David started singing the, this song of thanksgiving. And I tell you, there are times that you will have to act crazy for the Lord. Folk don't believe what you are saying. You, you don't argue with nobody about your faith, but you have to stand on it even when folks say you're crazy. Why would you serve a God that you can't see? Why would you serve a God that you can't feel? Why would you serve a God that is so distant and far away? And I always respond with, why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I serve a God that I can feel moving on the altar of my heart? Why come I wouldn't serve a God that turns my midnight into day? Why wouldn't I serve a God who makes a way out of no way every day of my life? David understood that God had delivered him from stranger situations than this. So you remember David had, God had delivered him from a lion and a bear when he was a boy. God delivered him from a Philistine giant when he was a youth. And because David understood him as a deliverer, he breaks out with a song when he says, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. And that is the declaration that if it's going to be a personal Bible, I don't care where you are, you can be in the middle of a grocery store. You can be on your job, you can be with your sinful friend, you can be with your children that don't understand why you serve God. But when you know that you know that God is your keeper, you are able to break out, I will bless the Lord. And all when things are going well, but I'm going to learn how to bless him at all times. When I'm sick, I can bless the Lord. When my money is funny, I can still bless the Lord. When, when things are going to right in my life, I have learned how to bless the Lord. As a matter of fact, this morning, I believe that David is saying something about this thing being personal. See, once you understand who God is and, and what God has done for you, you can make this declaration too that I will bless the Lord. It ain't my mama. It ain't my daddy. It ain't my sister or brother, but it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. And there are times that you can't go to God on behalf of nobody but yourself. Catching hell in your life, Satan, on your trail. Things are not going well. You have to be determined. There it is. That's the first time. I, I, I believe David says to us about being, about being personal that we must be determined. For David didn't say, my mama going to bless the Lord. David didn't say the church was going to bless the Lord. David didn't even say my children are going to bless the Lord. David says, I will bless the Lord. And, I'll and what he is trying to tell us is that I'm going to best bless the Lord with my best effort. And you must make your best effort. Things happen on a daily basis from one moment to the next. Nobody knows the tragedies that we face. But we went. Once we understand that although we don't know about tomorrow, we know who holds tomorrow. We can be determined that no matter what comes our way, I will bless the Lord. If you think about it, 
even after Helena came and ravaged North Carolina and Florida and Georgia and people lost their lives called the second worst tragedy to hit land in American history, we still have to be determined. Folk lost their lives. And we don't make little of, make light of them losing their lives. And even in the midst of that, we are still trying to figure out how a good God would allow something bad like that to happen. But I stopped by to tell you, because life is filled with fast transitions, you never know. And even in the midst of tragedy, you still have to be determined. When you don't understand what God is doing, when you can't see the path for a walking, you have to be determined to declare, I will bless the Lord at all times. David wanted us to understand that, that we must still be determined to thank God even when we don't understand why things had to happen. Even when our theology or understanding of God doesn't match our current situation, David says that we must still be determined to thank the Lord. David says that we ought to be determined to thank the Lord if we're going to make it personal and the reason why we ought to turn to bless the Lord is because we know what the Lord has done in the past. But not only does David say be determined, David is saying if it's going to be personal, then it must be direct. David says I'll bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth and the object of his praise was not some earthly or material things. David made it direct. David didn't say I'm going to praise my new car. David didn't say I'm going to praise my house on the hill. David didn't say, I'm going to praise the objects of my desire. But David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praises shall continually be in my mouth. All I'm trying to tell you this morning is that you better be direct where you put your praise. Some direct their attention to the job. Spending day and night working for the man. Others direct their praise to the families. And don't get me wrong. God bless us with our beautiful families. But there is nothing supposed to be over God. But God doesn't want you to neglect your family. David says that I will bless the Lord at all times. And it's not just some part-time forgiveness. David says in stanza two says the same thing. In other words, he is saying every step I take and every move I make, I will bless the Lord at all times. I'm going to thank him for what he's done. For when I think about his goodness, my soul cries out, yes, he says that I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mind. It's not like uh, some of us some do, of uh, how we talk about the Lord uh, on Monday and Wednesday. Uh, and by the cooler, uh, we're telling all color jokes, uh, we're running full down, uh, and we are complaining. Uh, David says, uh, every time you see me, 
God is the time I open my mouth. I, the praise of the Lord I shall continuously be in my mouth. I, David is saying, I, I bless the Lord. I, that word bless, I, it means thank I, And what David is saying, I, that at all times I, I'm going to thank the Lord I, for the good times I, and the bad times. I, I'm going to thank the Lord. I, well, I, I believe you, I, and I just believe I, that David says, uh, or she'll from the person uh, to the community, uh, for he says, uh, oh, he shares uh, his personal convictions uh, of what the Lord uh, has done for you, uh, and he invites us uh, to join in uh, in the celebration, uh, and that's how it works, uh, when one of us is happy, uh, we ought to all rejoice, uh, David said, look right here, uh, this is what the Lord has done for me. Uh, David said, oh, magnify the Lord with me, uh, and let us uh, exalt his name together. Uh, it was an invitation, uh, and it is extended, uh, because David uh, understood uh, that somebody needed uh, to experience the Lord, uh, and I don't know who you are. You've been shackled out by sin. You've been shackled out by sickness. You've been shackled out by disappointment. David said, Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us acknowledge his name. But David said, I saw the Lord and he heard my cry and delivered me from my fear. And that's the good news of the text that deliverance has come. Now I don't know what you've been delivered from, but that's why I thank the Lord because he delivered me and set me free. I heard the songwriter say, I was born from the peaceful shore. I was seeking to rise no more. Sin and stained me deeply within. I was seeking to rise no more. But the master of the sea, he heard my despairing cry. Mama didn't live me, daddy didn't live me, the church didn't live me. It was love that lifted me, love that lifted me. And that's why it's a personal thing when I think about all the Lord has done for me.
And if you're here this morning, we want to offer Christ to you. The doors of our Father's house stand open. I mean, if you want to let us out, know we do. We call this. You can come down by the door. Is there a watch when you go?
gave thanks and broke it and said, Take ye, this represents my body. And in the likewise manner, I just suffer. He took the cup and gave thanks and said, Take ye, drink, this represents my body. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you will show the Lord's death. At this time, I have pleading and privilege to announce that we have two who have finished. No members class. We have more than that, but I don't see the other debaters this morning already. Uh, so, Tiana and Sister Nance, who have finished no members class, we will extend the right hand of fellowship.
4 o'clock, we climax our annual choir day. Amen? Amen. Let us bow down. God, we come now just to take you. Thank you for reminding us that it's personal. We have to be to turn that red road in our praise towards you. For the devil is busy. He will steal, kill, and destroy us. But because you have been gracious and merciful in our lives, we declare that we will bless the Lord at all times. And your praise shall continuously be in our lives. Lord, you are worthy of all our praise. Lord, we tell you thank you for those members who have completed the new members' lives. Lord, we ask that you would stir something up on the inside of them, that they would just get busy being willing workers for you, O oh Lord. And then, O oh Lord, we just tell you thank you for each family that is represented here right now, Lord. Lord, we ask that you would continue to bless us in a mighty way. Lord, we lift up all the names that were called on our sick and shut in and special prayer list. Lord, we ask that you would meet them and touch them in a special way. Let that will be done, not ours. And oh Lord, we just tell you thank you for all that you're doing right here at the New Emmanuel Church. Lord, you are so kind and so gracious to us. Lord, we, we don't deserve all your favor, but Lord, we tell you thank you because that's the kind of God you are. Lord. You give us what we don't deserve. And for that, we tell you thank you. Now, Lord, as you dismiss us from this place, but not your sight, we ask that you would go with us, stand by us, and keep us in your care. And if you so will that you wake us up tomorrow, we want to be better for you tomorrow than we've been for you thus far today. If we wronged anyone in word or in deed, we ask that you would forgive us, allow us to forgive ourselves, give us strict care and remembrance to go back to all those we wrong and ask them for you. We ask now that may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest rule and abide with it each one, see the four fans of the war, and the people of God sang. Tell us about how low you need to go around.